Hello and welcome to Cream Tea Pickups Friday Corner. Uh, we are back with uh, episode number two. Please hit the subscribe button and notification so you get the next week's video as well so you'll be notified. First we are starting off with some of the questions we've gotten in uh, and then we have some really interesting stuff that we are going to look at in that box later on. So let's get on with it. The first one we have here is uh, from, from Fred in Italy. A big shout out to Fred in Italy. He says, greetings, I have read about your super machine and that you are able to recreate the sound of a guitar pickup 100%. I have a very special guitar and want my other guitars with the same pickups configuration to be loaded with the same sound. Is it possible for you to do this or do you, do you just do very famous and legendary guitars and their pickups? Uh, Fred, I can tell you this opportunity is open for everyone. So. Uh, Send us an email, get in touch, and we will take it from there. And uh, of course, we will uh, make 100% replica pickups of your guitars as well. Uh, so that is okay. So good. Thank you, friend. Italy. Next one is uh, from Stephen in Virginia. Hi. Is any pickups manufacturer in China any good? Can it be modified to sound any better? Well. Interesting question. Uh, some of the unboxing we are going to do right now, uh, pretty soon, we'll, we will get into that one, so hold on. And uh, next one is, uh, hello. After all these years you have spent working with Billy F. Gibbons, I guess you have seen a lot of things that is not known to public. Is there anything you know that should be revealed to the public regarding Billy F. Gibbons guitars and instead of for guitar tone? That is from Johan in Berlin. Um, interesting question. I uh, think I have a lot of stuff I could tell you, but um, I leave it for later on regarding some uh, upcoming interviews in the guitar magazines that is just finished. So please follow our, our YouTube channel and we will let you know there's a big interview coming up in the uh, guitarist magazine uh, pretty soon and uh, keep keep an eye out for that you will have a lot of answers to your questions in that one okay the last one for today is hello I think this new video series is a very cool thing I love the demo videos you upload which is very well done as well but to have a different type of content like this you do now is a nice addition. So to my question, do you have any address where I can ship a guitar for you to unbox and other guitar related material or your interest to look at and to be used for this purpose? I have a very rare guitar pickup I would like to know more about, but you guys need to see it and check it out in the reel if that makes sense. Thank you and look forward for, to more episodes of this sort. That is from René in Australia. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, we have a, a guy who has sent us this box, so uh, please do. You find our address on our website, so uh, please go into that. Okay, so now we are unboxing a very special item here. Uh, we were contacted by a guy who had a special issue and a big, big problem with this one. So he just uh, get in touch with, uh, with us and he reached out and asked if we can help him with this one. He think that this pickup is actually possessed of some sort, uh, but we know that is not the case, but we will look into it and see what it's all about. So let's open this one up. So let's see. So yeah, to the other guy who sent in the questions, yeah, feel free to send us stuff if you want us to look at and uh, see what's going on. We can do that for sure. So let's just open this one. Let's, uh, let's see what we got in there. Nicely packed, this one. Double wrap, nice in them. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, I can tell you first, first of all, this pickup is not possessed at all, but I can show you the issue with this one. I don't know if you have it. If you see here, you have a lot of spacing and air between the parts of the pickups itself. You have the slugs here. If you see that, the slugs are not touching the base plate and this will just create a bad working sounding pickup. 
Also, you see the wood spacers on each side, they are too high. Uh, they are not put the pole pieces correctly. So, and the second thing you see here is full of paraffin wax going around here. You have wires that is not properly assembled. So, um, this is a typical thing that you will see from the Chinese manufacturers as well. Uh, so, it can be modified, it can be sorted out, it can be fixed. But first of all, you need a proper clean. You have to take all the paraffin wax that are around the pickup away. You have to redo some of the wires here. You have to take this wood spacer off. You have to take the metal spacer that you see in between. And actually here they have a different kind of a metal spacer with a different kind of size. So this is not good at all. So no wonder why you think this pickup is possessed. It has nothing to do with that, but it's just a bad, bad setup for a guitar pickup for working. But we will fix it for you and uh, we will make sure it works and we will return it to you. So thank you for sending it in and uh, that's all for now. See you next Friday.